Hi, I'm Beth Isaac. Today you are going to learn how to make a circular skirt. There are four important points to make the skirt. Make sure your measurement is accurate. Create a perfect pattern. Cutting of fabric. Finally, sewing. There are a few things we need to prepare before we get started. Preparing a tracing carbon. Fold it outward from the center of the sheet. Cut out your pattern paper to the size of your folded carbon sheet. Sandwich your paper in between the carbon sheet and staple around it. Make two such carbon sheets. Let's place your pattern sheet lengthwise. The pattern sheet we use is 2 by 3 feet. Give an allowance of 1 cm on the left side. Threading the needle. Take a good length of your thread and fold it in half. Pass the open ends of the thread through the eye of the needle. Pull the thread almost till the end and pass the needle through the loop. not the end of the thread. This will ensure that the thread doesn't get knotted while sewing the button. Alright, let's get started. We are going to use the simple round cord to find your natural waist. Tie this cord fairly tight around the narrowest part of your waist. Make sure it's not too tight or too loose. This will be your natural waistline. All your measurements will be in centimeters. The waist measurement is 65 centimeters and the skirt length is 45 centimeters. This is all the measurement you need for a circular skirt. But you can make the skirt to your desired length. Just make sure you enter your measurements as you follow along. To calculate your waistband length, add an allowance of 1 cm to both ends of your waist and an extra 3 cm for overlapping, which is 65 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3, which gives us 70 cm. The width of our waistband is 3 cm with a seam allowance of 1 cm. Skirt pattern. To begin your draft on the pattern sheet, you need to first use this formula to get the right waistline. The formula is the waist circumference divided by 2 times pi. Your waist is 65 centimeters and pi is 3.14, which gives you 10.35 centimeters. From the bottom left corner of your pattern sheet, measure and draw out 10.35 cm in a circular pattern, which is your waistline. Similarly, from your waistline, mark the skirt length of 45 cm and draw out your hemline. Draw out a seam allowance of 2 cm from the hemline and 1 cm from the waistline. Make a note of the length from the left corner to the hemline seam allowance which is 57.35 cm. Finally, cut out your patterns along the seam allowances. Your 
your fabric requirement. To calculate your fabric length, all you need to do is multiply 57.35 by 4 times, which is 229.4. For ease of handling fabric, keep it at 235 cm. Cutting fabric. Fold your fabric into 4 equal lengths. Let's place your pattern on the fabric and pin it up. Make sure you pin the pattern about 2 cm away from the pattern edge. Cut out the fabric along the pattern lines. Cut out your micro dot fusing paper to the same size of your waistband. Place the bubble side of the fusing on the fabric. Now, using a steam iron, fuse your waistband with the micro dot fusing paper on the row side of the fabric. Once you do this, Pin your pattern back onto the folded waistband. Tracing. Insert the carbon between the bottom two layers. And one between the two top layers. Using a tracing wheel, trace over the pattern lines. Once you're done with this, remove all the patterns from the fabric. Sewing and pinning. First, we need to overlock all the side seams of the skirt. To get a perfectly finished garment, we need to pin the fabrics together. Begin by pinning the two corners by matching the two intersections of the tracing lines along the side lines. Next, pin it in the midpoint. Matching the lines on both the fabrics. Continue pinning the entire length. Along the tracing lines, make sure all the pins face the same direction. It's finally time to start sewing. Begin your sewing from the waistline with a lock stitch. Continue stitching on the tracing lines. Stitch as close as possible to each pin before you remove them. Finish your sewing with another lock stitch. Repeat the same on the other side leaving 18 cm from the waistline for the zipper. Iron your skirt, keeping the seams open.
Before attaching the zipper, iron it out for a better finish. Pin the zipper onto the skirt with a runner on the right side of the fabric. Pin the zipper top stop on the intersection of the waistline for both sides of the fabric. Now pin the bottom stop about 4 cm below the opening. Continue to pin up the rest of the zipper, keeping the tracing line as close as possible to the zipper chain. Before stitching the zipper, change your regular foot to a zipper foot. Start stitching with a lock stitch from the waistline. Continue stitching as shown earlier to about 2 cm below the opening. Once again, finish with a lock stitch. Repeat this on the other side. Before we attach the waistband, we need to fold the fabric length twice with the row side facing out. Then stitch the two ends on the tracing lines. Flip the waistband inside out. Keeping the seams open, pin the right side of the waistband starting from the front left of the waistline onto the raw side of the skirt. On the tracing line. Continue pinning the waistband all around to the back left of the skirt. We will have an allowance of 3 cm of the waistband for overlapping. Start stitching from the front of the skirt with a lock stitch. Continue to stitch around and finish with a lock stitch. Bring the other side of the waistband over to the right side of the skirt. Make sure you fold in along the tracing line. Pin up the waistband sitting exactly along the sewing line. Begin sewing from the corner of the 3 cm overlapping allowance from the back left of the waistband and stitch all the way around until you reach the front left corner. While the needle is in the fabric, lift the foot and turn the fabric to stitch along the width of the waistband. Repeat this until you complete stitching along all the corners of the waistband. To 
complete the hemline, make a 1 cm inward double fold on the tracing line and pin it all around. and stitch along the edge of it. Let's iron out the entire skirt. Sewing the buttonhole. Using a buttonhole foot, Sew your buttonhole on the front left of your waistband. Cut the buttonhole using a seam ripper. Tuck your waistband overlapping allowance under the buttonhole you just made. With a marking pencil, mark out the button placement point through the buttonhole. Make sure you place your pencil close to the left of the buttonhole. Sewing the button. Place the button on the point marked earlier and hold it together with the waistband. From the back of the waistband, pass the needle through one of the buttonholes. Loop the thread back through the other buttonhole. Repeat this process a minimum of three times and finish it with a knot on the back of the waistband. Now your beautiful skirt is ready!